Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session we are going to do on a joint, again a revolute joint but uh, what is the difference compared to this is like uh, earlier joint was a shell joint, we model using shell, this will model using a solid so it's more like a two solid and then uh, the main learning is like shell you have straight line between the two shells so solid how you can do it so like uh, what you see on the screen right now one part is stationary and then then the other is uh, has a revolute joint and rotated by 180 degree C uh, the main thing is uh, uh, earlier video we shown how to do it but we'll just repeat and understand a small minute details of the revolute joint so this is what uh, exactly we'll do so let me first uh, we don't have this time a ppt or anything going through because uh, we strongly recommend to go our first video on the the hinge joint on the shell part which will then give more clarity on how uh, we can do it so let's let's start doing this the new new with solid so let me first uh, select the uh, set the right working directory so I selected that it's so I'll first create a part uh, I'm not looking for any specific dimension or anything but uh, we'll just just making like look something like a similar to what what uh, you have seen so we'll have like no specific dimension but just uh, the two parts which are like a revolute joint that type of uh, things will do so I created two circle and one rectangular and then I'll use this uh, auto trim command and then I'll just trim it unnecessary things and then once you've done it I'll just extrude by 10 millimeter you can extrude whatever amount so we get a solid part then uh, we'll quickly define the metal property like uh, 210e power 0 3.3 as a Poisson's ratio and then we'll define like section property and then we'll assign the section to it so we created the part one now the second part is also same it's a just a copy of that so I can just select and I'll say copy and I'll say it's a part two so right now we have two parts part one and part two same thing now we'll quickly go and do assembly so you go to assembly section you can go from here also assembly section and then you say instant and you create the two dependent part so we created the assembly of this then we'll go and quickly translate the instant so I, I click on the translate instant and I go to the instant and I'll say part 2 and I'll take this is my first point this is my second point so that way we created the two part now now we created the two part now we'll create a step and then the whole process how to create a hinge joint will start so I go to the step and then I'll say step which will be static general step uh, time period 1 and I'm putting like initial 1 and minimum 1 and maximum 1 so that I can get a 10 steps not because anything like specific thing. you have different option to take output but I, I prefer to do this and now is the important point so we need to now create a, a hinge joint here so first we'll go to the point I'll create two reference points so this is point one which is at the fixed location and another point is at uh, the rotating condition so I created point one and point two and then I'll create a wire feature between these two so you should have a two reference point and then go and create a wire feature so on the wire features we are going to create a hinge joint so you go and say point one you select first point you select second point so that way you created a wire feature there so once wire feature is done 
will do a local coordinate system in the center because earlier the shell thinks we are uh, it's on the, the, the between the two edge so we'll create one local coordinate system and that can be used for a uh, hinge orientation and the boundary condition so you can so you go to the tool you go to the datum section and then you say system and then you say three point rectangular you select the first point this is my origin and then the second point is referred to the x-axis so select the point to be x-axis so I want a uh, x-axis between point 1 point 2 and this is my wherever you define like this is my y-axis so I created x I created y and I created z so what I'll just recap we created two reference point we created a, a wire feature between two and then we created a system so rectangular coordinate system we done and then we'll quickly go and we'll define the this as like a hinge joint typical diagram and all nomenclature are there if you want to go through you put a hinge joint I say continue and then I just given a uh, the friction which is frictionless surface so I given uh, some point zero one friction and once we uh, generated uh, the two things I go and say create and then you need to select a wire feature so you select a wire feature and then it's connected your uh, section which is we created as a point zero frequency now these are important steps so you go to the orientation and select the right orientation so the hinge joint is going to be having a orientation define the the local rectangular coordinate systems so we've done that now we'll quickly define the two boundary conditions so first boundary condition is we are going to put a end caster condition at here so point one we selected and then we'll say end caster condition but this is not with a uh, global condition so this is with a local system so you created the local system and then you say end caster then we created the second part which is the other point is going to rotate about the the local axis so create system I selected that point done and then you define like uh, 3.14 and then you select with respect to local coordinate system so done that and then then we'll quickly we don't have to mesh it but in interaction you have to define the display group display group 1 which will be fixed display group and then second display group will be this which will follow the single point okay and then we'll create a job and we'll run it inch and let's submit it we'll see how, how it looks like so we submitted the run I'll just monitor how it is so it's gone into INP it might be in preprocessor stage so let's check so we're just waiting that it's it will take some time to process and throw out if there is anything so the pre-processor is done so you see the pre-processor part done so let's monitor it's not monitoring here let me check it from here how it looks going so STF file I guess it is done so let's check the results so we put the results on and this is how you see it's looking so I just put it this way so like you have now revealed joint which is like 
moving like 180 degrees so, so this is quick can uh, sound video but just to give you here is like uh, just a recap what exactly you'll do you'll have two reference point one at this end you can have here or other end it's better you can have at the other end so you can have a regular joint going through the full section so you point one point two then you create a line feature between two you create a section then you give on this correct orientation to the system you give boundary condition in terms of system so this is what a quick video on the uh, revolute joint and then you can see like uh, a clock clock moving so you can create lot of lot of uh, situation where you require a revolute joint so thanks for watching this video don't forget to like us and subscribe us thank you bye bye